where did India let the match slip away? I think it started uh, when we lost the toss, and um, and that was the main. Uh, I think that was the different uh, differential factor, because um, the wicket was wicket played extremely well on the first day, at least for one and a half days. It was an mm -hmm. excellent wicket, mm -hmm. and it was slow and easy pace. I think that's where India actually lost the match because we got totally, you know, 555 runs. Root batted extremely well, mm -hmm. and so did the others uh, in the English side. I think that that itself. Then after that, we were playing catch and cook. So I mean, right. it was just uh, surviving all throughout. Seth, Virat Kohli at the end of the match uh, doesn't seem to be very uh, doesn't seem to be appreciative uh, of England being on top of the table. He says uh, there's no logic to the ranking system. Uh, Eng England, of course, are on the top of the World Test Championship. Table, what do you really have to say? How do you react to Virat Kohli saying there's no logic? Well, rarely, uh, see, when you're happened? not at the top, do you think that it does have logic? When you are at the top, of course, it makes all the logic in the world. So it makes plenty of sense. In truth, England right now are not the best test team in the world, but they're going in the right direction. I feel like they're moving towards that position. Are they going to get there in this series? I don't think so. I think probably if you look 12, 18 months down the line, we have this discussion again. Maybe we will be talking about the top team in Test cricket.